Hello, good morning and welcome to St. Catherine by the Sea Holworth for morning prayer on Saturday the 10th of November. We're using the Order All Saints to Advent, which is at the end of morning and evening prayer, seasonal time towards the beginning of the Red Book, if that's where you're following. And it's the Lesser Festival of Leo the Great, so we might turn up some stuff to do with him later on. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. praise. Your faithful servants, <clears throat> Bessie, they make known the glory of your, your kingdom. kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. And shall we read this by alternate verses. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night. While all day long they say to me, where is now your God? Now when I drink on these things, when I think on these things, I pour out my soul. How I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God. With the voice of praise and thanksgiving, among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? Why are you so disquieted within me? I put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory, Who is to, sorry. Sorry. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. As, as it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> so to the back of the book, to the Psalter for the Psalms, <coughs> and we have two this morning, Numbers 18 from verse 31, and the last one, 115. Psalm 18, from 31 and 150. We open and close with the refrain, saying the glory be before we repeat, and we may use the prayers that follow in silence. So Psalms 18, from 31 and 150. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried in the fire. He is a shield to all who trust in him. For who is God but the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who girds me about with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like hinds' feet, so that I tread surely on the heights. He teaches my hand to fight <coughs> and my arms to bend the bow of bronze. You have given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand upholds me, and your grace has made me great. You enlarge my strides beneath me, yet my feet do not slide. I will pursue my enemies and overtake them, nor turn again until I have destroyed them. I will smite them down so they cannot rise. They shall fall beneath my feet. You have girded me with strength for the battle. You will cast down my enemies under me. 
You will make my foes turn their backs on me, and I shall destroy them, and I shall destroy them that hate me. They will cry out, but there shall be none to help them. They will cry to the Lord, but he will not answer. I shall beat them as small as the dust on the wind. I will cast them out as the mire in the streets. You will deliver me from the strife of the peoples. You will make me the head of the nations. The people I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear me, they shall obey me. Strangers will humble themselves before me. The foreign peoples will lose heart and come trembling out of their strongholds. The Lord lives and blessed be my rock. Praise be the God of my salvation. Even the God who vindicates me and subdues the peoples under me. You that deliver me from my enemies, you will set me up above my foes. From the violent you will deliver me. Therefore will I give you thanks, O Lord, among the nations and sing praises to your name. To the one who gives great victory to his king and shows faithful love to his anointed, to David and his seed forever. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and shall, and shall be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord my God, God shall make my darkness to be bright. bright. Everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Alleluia. We praise God in his holiness. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him upon the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dances. Praise him upon the strings and pipes. Praise him with ringing cymbals. Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Let, Let everything, everything that, that has, has breath, breath praise, praise the Lord. The Lord. Turn back to morning prayer or souls or saints to Advent to the canticle, a song of the new creation. I will I make, make a way, way in the wilderness and rivers, rivers in, in the, the desert. desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, <coughs> who makes his way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things. <coughs> nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people. The people who I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. I, I will make a way in the wilderness, wilderness and, and rivers in, in the desert. desert. And so as you turn to Daniel chapter 4, from verse 1, this is a paragraph about Leo the Great, who became Pope in the year 440, and twice proved his bravery in saving the citizens of Rome from the invading barbarians. 
He was an eloquent and wise preacher, using simple gospel texts to proclaim the Christian faith. His administrative skills were unrivaled, and he used the resources of the church for the good of the people. Rather than further confuse Christians by entering into the controversy over the person of Christ, Leo spoke simply of the humility of Christ, who was divine and human in his compassion, uniting biblical images in prayer rather than dividing in debate. Leo died on this day in the year 461. So the first reading is Daniel 4, 1 to 18. King Nebuchadnezzar, to all peoples, <clears throat> nations, and languages that live throughout the earth, may you have abundant prosperity. The signs and wonders that the Most High God has worked for me, I am pleased to recount. How great are his signs, how mighty his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and his sovereignty is from generation to generation. I, Nebuchadnezzar, was living at ease in my house and prospering in my palace. I saw a dream that frightened me, my fantasies in bed and the visions of my head terrified me. So I made a decree that all wise men of Babylon should be brought before me in order that they might tell me the interpretation of the dream. Then the magicians, the enchanters, the Chaldeans and the Diviners came in, and I told them the dream, but they could not tell me its interpretation. At last Daniel came in before me, he who was named Belshazzar, after the name of my God, and who is endowed with the spirit of the holy gods, and I told him the dream. O Belshazzar, chief of the magicians, I know that you are endowed with the spirit of the holy gods and that no mystery is too difficult for you. Hear the dream that I saw and tell me its interpretation. Upon my bed I saw this. Sorry, upon my bed this is what I saw. There was a tree at the centre of the earth and its height was great. The tree <coughs> was great and strong its top reached to heaven, and it was visible to the end of the whole earth. Its foliage was beautiful, its fruit abundant, and it provided food for all. The animals of the field found abode under it, found shade under it. The birds of the air nested in its branches, and from it all beings were fed. I continued looking in the visions of my head as I lay in bed, and there was a holy watcher coming down from heaven. He cried aloud and said, Cut down the tree and chop off its branches, strip off its foliage and scatter its fruit. Let the animals flee from beneath it and the birds from its branches, but leave its stump and roots in the ground with a band of iron and bronze in the tender grass of the field. Let him be bathed with dew, with the dew of heaven. And let his lot be with the animals of the field and the grass of the earth. Let his mind be changed from that of a human and let the mind of an animal be given to him. And let seven times pass over him the sentence is rendered by decree of the watchers. The decision is given by order of the Holy Ones, in order that all who live may know that the Most High is sovereign over the kingdom of mortals. He, he gives it to whom he will and sets it over the lowliest of human beings. This was the dream that I, King Nebuchadnezzar saw, 
Now you, Belshazzar, declare the interpretation, since all the wise men of my kingdom are unable to tell me the interpretation. You are able, however, for you are endowed with the spirit of the holy gods. Sadly, we won't get to hear what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we can read it for ourselves. <laughs> I suppose we could. Um, what struck me as you read was how this seems to not be written by Jewish people. I mean, it is the Jewish scripture, but we're very much given it in Nebuchadnezzar's eyes. He talks about the watchers rather than angels, for instance. Yes. Um, he, talks, he tells us that Daniel has been named Belshazzar after his God. Um, he doesn't say, um, you follow the one true God, the God that's named so and so, uh, uh, the God of Abraham, whatever. He describes Belsh um, Daniel's um, abilities as the spirit of the holy gods. Yes. He is called, Daniel is called the chief of the magicians, which is intriguing because we might think that we're being if you like Christian in, in, to help everybody understand our belief system, how yeah. we understand it, but they might see something good in us, but interpret it in a different way. Yeah. Um, and this is actually in Hebrew scripture. Yes, so it's sort of inconsistent with the rest. But you'd imagine they would have written it to make it clear with their language yeah. what was going on. And then the other thing that intrigued me was, I guess this is, what we might call mental health condition yeah. mm -hmm. in scripture, but not necessarily understood as such. <coughs> um. <coughs> yes, he's definitely been very troubled by what he was dreaming. But also the, the change that comes upon him that we don't yet know about because we haven't read on, but he no. loses his throne and just lives outside with the animals. Um, so something happens to him, whether it's a depression, whether it's something psychotic, but it's clearly a change in his mind that is temporary. Significant, but temporary. But yes, you say the fact that he's dreaming it even at this stage, but uh, yes, it, it does include this situation and not to do with somebody who is within God's plan or tribe or whatever, but um, nevertheless, it's there. Mm -hmm. So to Revelation 4, our next <coughs> reading, chapter 4 of Revelation. After this I looked, and there in heaven a door stood open. And the first voice, which I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet, said, Come up here and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the Spirit, and there in heaven stood a throne, with one seated on the throne, and the one seated there looked like Jasper and Cornelian, and around the throat is a rainbow that looked like emeralds. Around the throne, around the throne is a rainbow that looked like emeralds. Around the throne are twenty-four thrones, and seated on the thrones are twenty-four elders, dressed in white robes with golden crowns on their heads. Coming from the throne are flashing flashes of lightning, and rumblings and peals of thunder. And in front of the throne burn seven flaming torches which are the seven spirits of God. And in front of the throne, there is something like a sea of glass, like crystal. Around the throne and on each side of the throne are four living creatures, full of eyes in front and behind. The first living creature like a lion, the second living creature like an ox, <coughs> the third living creature with a face like a human face, and the fourth living creature like a flying eagle. And the four living creatures 
each of them with six wings are full of eyes all around and inside. Day and night without ceasing we sing, holy, holy, holy. The Lord God, the Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And whenever the living creatures give glory and honour and thanks to the one who is seated on the throne, who lives for ever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall before the one who is seated on the throne and worship the one who lives for ever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne, singing, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Thank you. <clears throat> this is a, an image of God's throne room in the days when the kings, the rulers, the people that had the power um, <clears throat> presented themselves in great halls or great tabernacles or tents <coughs> surrounded by all the um, all their advisors and the civil servants many of whom were taken from they'd have been uh, emasculated rulers of the nations that they had overthrown mm -hmm. um, and all their their wealth would have been evident to display and so when people arrived it was as if they were gods because ordinary mortals didn't have any of that kind of thing mm -hmm. um, and so here we've just we've got the writers of revelation using things to do with the sky like bow rainbows um sort of the blueness of the, the heavens flashes of lightning all these kind of heavenly things yeah. as part of this um, and then all these thrones and the elders um, and it's a way of encouraging the persecuted people of the time to understand and know that their God was a God of that sort of proportion, dimension, power, character. Um, they, those lines about the animals with the, or the, the creatures with animal faces um, are, I think, where we get the images in some churches of the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, where each is um, seem to have a different face. And I don't know whether that's what the understanding was of the writers here or not, I don't know. But uh, it's interesting to see scriptures that we now use liturgically, like holy, holy, holy. This is their origin, yeah. And I imagine they were used then somehow, which is why they're in the Bible. Yeah. So it's difficult to tell whether they are Bible first and liturgy second or the other way around. Yeah. So should we head back to morning prayer for the responsory? <coughs> I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My, My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will we'll sing, sing forever of your love, O Lord. Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My, My lips shall, shall proclaim, proclaim your faithfulness. faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I, I will sing, sing forever, forever of your love, O Lord. My, My lips shall, shall proclaim your faithfulness. We now turn to the song of Zechariah and the refrain can be found... Um, under today's date in Leo the Great, two thirds of the way in under the list of saints and festivals, otherwise I shall just read it and join together at Blessed Be. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, 
to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Let us pray. Lord of the Sabbath, Prince of Peace, Advocate and Comforter, three in one, one in three, we come to you today looking for your peace, recognising in our anxiety and troubles that we have no ability in ourselves to provide or help ourselves, but we are reliant on you. And as we take our rest, we demonstrate that to ourselves and to others. We give time for reflection, time for things to move on, time to heal. We pray for those who are visiting friends today, who are not working, who are going to be recreating, being creative, being sporting, perhaps doing jobs and tasks at home that they might otherwise not do. But the freedom today to do that. We pray for those that are not able to rest, that we may, those in retail and hospitality, medicine, emergency and military services, and those who keep our utilities and transport and communications flowing. We thank you for them and pray that they in their turn may have their rest to pursue relationships, creativity and other facets of who they are than they're able to express in their professional life. Continuing to pray for Sudan with Operation World. Darfur is a 21st century byword for tragedy, they write. <clears throat> we pray for a complete end to violence. We pray for courage and determination from international bodies to bring perpetrators to justice. And for foreign nations to act with more moral uprightness rather than simply out of greed for cheap oil. We pray too for not just an end to violence, but a restoration of peace. Most non-government organisations tried to help, have been forced out. We pray they'll be able to return to help both with aid and development. And we pray that international assistance doesn't dry up as and when violence ends. South Sudan has officially been at peace since 2005. During the 21 year civil war, one and a half to two million people, mostly southerners, lost their lives. Five million internally displaced, 500,000 at least fled the country to escape genocide. So we pray that the peace agreement will become stronger, that peace will prevail, that people perpetuating violence and disorder will be stopped and the infrastructure will be rebuilt, rebuilt without threat of further destruction. Amen. With Christian Action Research and Education, we intercede for those in positions of leadership in the government and Her Majesty's opposition in the Westminster Parliament. We pray God will strengthen them and all who sit in the Houses of Parliament to seek the good of our nation laying aside personal interests and prejudices. 
and pray especially for those who are engaged in the thorny issues of our time of environmental breakdown and uh, issues of trade and so on as we re-establish who and where and how we are going to be after March next year. We also pray for those who have faith you have to try and hold their faith in the context of their duties to their party and their constituents. Amen. <clears throat> From Green Christian, Catholic Airport is consulting the public on its plans to widen its emergency runway so as to increase flights by 100,000 by 2032. The extended runway would allow an additional 10 to 15 short haul flights every hour. Friends of the Earth comments, the challenge of preventing dangerous climate chaos means that further airport expansion anywhere can't be up for consideration. We can't be serious about stopping catastrophic climate change while at the same time send aircraft emissions soaring. The environmental case for expanding airport capacity is non-existent. To plan for yet more flights is totally at odds with the policy direction needed to meet the unfolding climate crisis. We pray that all voices in those discussions will be heard and that wisdom will be used in the decisions that are arrived at and that those decisions will be long term um, for the good of those yet to come and not just for the benefit of those who are involved or likely to profit in the immediate future. Amen. And in our benefit cycle, we are reminded to give thanks for the Methodists in Broad Main, with whom we, as um, all parishes and congregations across the benefice, are in covenant agreement. And we pray your blessing on that and pray that it will develop. And we also pray a blessing on Steph <coughs> as she and her husband Peter learn to live with her um, fatigue and pain. And we pray for all who care that you will support them in what they do and give them the strength they need. Amen. Amen. And we thank you for our church membership. Today the last group, the second half of the Ermoin contingent for Anne, Cyril and Cynthia, Carol and Jack, Lisa and Jack, Dulcie, Beth, Alex, Celia and Jeff, John, Keith, Anne, Chris, Kathleen, Elizabeth and Michael, Leslie and Kevin. Peter and Liz, Noel and Alice and Graham and Suzanne, Tessa, Laura, Pat, Richard, Liz and Tony. We pray your blessing on them <coughs> in their circumstances. If things are difficult, you will hear and answer their prayers. If things are going well, they may be able to share with others and so build community. We pray for those, for all of them, that you draw them all closer to you through prayer, study and service. We pray the same for ourselves, that we may fellowship together and worship, walk and witness. Pray that we will be known as your followers, motivated, inspired, enabled by the person that you are and the people that we are in you. And we thank you for these and all they contribute to the life of their community, including their church contributions, with their time, talents, personalities and faith. We pray for them that amongst themselves they may develop a aspiration, a hunger, a desire to meet together, to pray, to study and to serve, but outside the structures of um, Sunday by Sunday, more formal worship, and that that will be a, a powerhouse for reaching out to people around and about them, as we pray the same for those in all our parishes. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, I'm going to go to the 
God our Father, who made your servant Leo strong in the defence of the faith, fill your church with the spirit of love, that guided by humility and governed by love, she may prevail against the powers of evil. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.